Good morning, guys. I am getting a later start than I wanted. So we are going to hop right into some corrective exercising. <clears throat> We'll just do a few different um, movements today uh, as opposed to what we did on Tuesday. I'm just getting my shoes on. So we're gonna start with inhibit, which is foam rolling. And I always love to start with foam rolling my back. Um, now I have two different foam rollers this one was off Amazon. This one was off, uh, or um, from Walmart. So this is a lot softer, a lot more, um, not as many ridges. This is, you can see it's more bumpy and ridged. Um, so this has more trigger point. Um, I'm gonna go with this one today. I like to switch between the two. So we're going to start foam rolling our low back. Um, you can, uh, if you don't have these, like I said, uh, just take this time to stretch. But I, I like to really show you guys the process versus just getting right into a workout. The focus of my training is always restoration and then you know once you restore something you can start to build it you can start to work on um, making things look nicer and but restoring is important Super hard to foam roll off my back at home. All right. So the next one we're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your side and you're gonna put the foam roll um, behind your um, armpit and just Hold your legs and kind of roll back. When I do the other arm, I'll show you reverse. Also, if you have the option to work out in your garage today, open the door. It is so beautiful this morning. It's gonna be 70 degrees today, so it's like the, the fresh air this morning is not cold. As it starts raining. Okay. Let's do the other side. So what I'm targeting is right back here.
put the foam wall under your hips. So proud of five. <clears throat> so we're gonna do a supine. Okay. Got a supine stretch. You're gonna lay on your back. <clears throat> this right arm is palm open. Okay. Legs down. Lift the right leg. Grab the knee. 90 degrees. And rotate. This right arm is palm open. So you're in a supine position. You should feel a stretch here. And you might even feel a little bit in your low back. Yeah. Good sides. Left palm open. Left knee. Pull it up 90 degrees. Left leg rotates across. together and you're going to let your hips drop open. So a lot of times right through your hip flexors and your hips get really, really tight. Um, so you need to do kind of the opposite to lengthen. So just let those hips fall open. And you don't have to lift your head up, okay? Keep your head down and relax. Okay, bend and switch. Bend, 90 degrees, reach behind, 90 degrees, extend. If your foot is pointed, you're not gonna feel as good in the stretch as if you've got that toe pulled back. And bend and lower. All right, we're gonna roll to your side and we're gonna come up. I'm gonna take my jacket off. Good morning for those of you who are watching. Whoa! Get my camera all jacked up. Okay, we're gonna come on all fours and just do some belly breathing. So I want you to inhale, round, exhale, scoop the spine. Inhale, round, exhale, scoop the spine. Inhale, exhale. Okay, now we're going to inhale 
and just keep your back flat. Exhale. Draw the core in. So inhale and exhale. Draw the core in. Try to keep your back flat or slightly rounded, okay? All right, now we're gonna go into bird dog. Now a lot of times when people are doing this, they just, right? You're just not keeping control on your core. So I really wanna focus on that. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, engage that core. You can see I pull up, bringing my, my pelvic in. So I'm flat back. I'm going to take the right arm, left leg, lift. Okay, lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. So we're going to do the other side. Make sure that you're not arched. Make sure your shoulders aren't here. You've got a nice posture, okay? Your neck and your back is pretty flat, okay? None of this, none of this, okay? So we're going to inhale, exhale, pull that core in, left arm, right leg. Should feel like your core is heavy, your glute is tight. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Okay, awesome. Now we are going to. And my sheet to <clears throat> okay. All right. I want to try to get some music on for you guys, but I was having trouble with it um, with my technology. Okay. So um, if you have a ball, if you have a band, great. We're going to utilize those things. Um, it's a little bit more uh, progressed than Tuesday. So while my laptop loads up, um, we're going to do um, dead bugs. I like doing those every time uh, with clients. They're a great tool for learning how to engage your core and strengthen it. Anything where you're on your back, um, you tend to have a little bit more control of your core by knowing that your back is pressed in to your mat. So we're going to lay on our backs, put your feet down, you're going to inhale, exhale, press that low back in, lift right, lift left, okay? I'm going to modify today with um, just tapping my toes instead of straightening. So we're going to go left, right, Now, if you can't keep your core controlled, you can put your hands here while you're doing that to feel what your core is doing. Your legs should feel light, your core should feel heavy. And rest. Stop. Okay, so if you don't have a ball, that is okay. Um, just do the bridges. Um, without the ball, but I'm going to show you with a ball um, or anything where you can elevate your feet, okay? So 
So we're gonna put our feet up on the ball. We're gonna inhale, exhale, tuck, and lift, two, three, down, two, three. Notice how my feet are flat in the ball. My knees are now, okay? I'm really keeping my knees shoulder width apart, core is engaged. A bridge is just as much glutes as it is core, okay? It is a corrective exercise. Um, I recommend you could literally do bridges every day to warm up, okay? Now I can tell I lost my core control. So I'm gonna inhale, exhale, tilt. There we go. We got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, set that to the side. So that was um, activate. So we're in um, step three of corrective care. So we're gonna do that one more time for those of you hopping on. Can you guys hear the rain in the back? It sounds beautiful to me. That is music to my ears. Um, if I am working out and it is raining and I'm not in bed, we're doing something right, family. Okay. All right, let's see if I can get some music on here. Okay, we're going back to bird dog. Now, <clears throat> for the core engagement, we don't have any arch back, we have an engaged core. See the difference? So sometimes you have to do it like standing up. If you've had a baby, this right here is not as strong. Even if you haven't had a baby, this might not be as strong. Okay, so we're gonna, Make sure that while you're doing that, okay, yeah, that's straight, none of that. We're gonna do that on the ground. So we're gonna inhale, exhale. Same thing I just showed you, but now I'm on the ground. Very job. I'm raising and lifting. I'm not kicking and throwing. Control. Four, three, two, and one. Down. Inhale. Exhale. Lift out. Bird dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can tell it's humid when my hair gets curly. <clears throat> okay, Pandora. My computer is so slow. So it's, um, I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to hear the music because of the rain right now. So. Okay, dead bug. Going back, inhale, exhale.
So we did two sets of 12 for each move, okay? <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear the music at all, but there's music on. Okay, let's grab a band. You like this, or even one, a stretchy one like this. If you don't have band, you can still do it without the band. Just focus on that core engagement while you're doing it. So you're not sucking it in and lifting up. You're inhaling, exhale, engage. Okay? Okay, now we're to that band on our hand. Not on our hand, excuse me. Okay. Now it's how we did the lateral walk, okay, so we're going to do that with the band. Ten, 
Robin. So, shoulder adapters are powered. Okay. Okay, here we go. Circle. Okay, that will warm up your shoulders like nobody's business. Fun moments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm using these guys um, as my equipment. I'll put on a different band to show you. This one's going to be a little bit tighter, so you'll notice I can't move it as far. Okay. Pop that foot in. Now, you can also bring the band up, too. It doesn't really matter to me. circles like me. I was just kind of showing you the different angles that you can move in. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put it on our foot. We got marching high knees. And feet. Floor is engaged.
bridge. These burns. So if you don't have the band, you can still do them like this. Just make sure you're still keeping control of your posture and not just it's not wax on, wax off. We're not rocking our hips. <laughs> we're trying to keep our core control while we're doing this. Okay, we're learning that foundation of uh, control and posture and form. Arms on the head. time I was at. Um, Alright, well, I've got to get to my doctor's appointment and I'm running a little behind schedule today. So, um, <clears throat> today was our second day of corrective exercise. Um, so, if you haven't watched day one, you can go to like the Thursday or the Tuesday um, I'm not sure if it's like, I'm pretty sure you can go back and re-watch these. So go to day one. There's different exercises there. There's me talking a lot in the beginning, just kind of introducing myself. I just thought that would be nice to do. Um, but, because a lot of you don't know me, um, but go to around 19 or 20 minutes is when I started the workout. I know, but I showed you guys how to build, how I build a workout and how I put it together. Um, so, yeah, go watch day one, um, and there's some exercises with weights. Trying to make it a little bit different. Um, next week, we're going to go straight into stabilization. So we're going to be doing a lot of balancing um, and stability moves. Um, you may need a foam roll, um, a weight, even if it's like a jug of water or something. Um, nothing more than 10 pounds is what you'll need for next week. Um, so I will see you guys there and we will kind of progress these next four weeks to getting a little bit harder with our workouts. Um, but I thought, hey, let's start slow and um, you guys can kind of get a feel for what um, my goal is. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this rainy Thursday. Um, it still is beautiful out there, but it's raining. So. Thanks guys, I will see you next Tuesday.